make like these AI tools that like like create fake representation. It's like show a, a king of France in the 1940s and it's like a black guy. I don't really understand how they thought this was a good idea or how they thought this would make sense. Only white men would be triggered. <laughs> Well, I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Of course it would be white men that would feel like they're being erased because they're being replaced by people of other ethnicities and genders for a reason that doesn't make sense. So this guy who broke my sign in half now goes, he's got a weapon. Is that not fair for them to be annoyed by that? Like, as a white guy, I don't like that. I'll say it flat out. I find this very unsettling and, and weird that people that look like me are being artificially suppressed for no reason. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Saladino. Welcome back. This is evil. There's really no way around it. I can't make it sound milder or gentler they're actually erasing history they're erasing the truth this is what i always talk about 1984 this is the party forget about trump's america this is feminists and activists with a political agenda forcing their brain rot into every aspect of society that they can every space that they're allowed to get away with doing this to and then you have these smug assholes these cancel pigs on reddit in the comments of YouTube, pretending that this AI, DEI is not a big deal. And they always do this, again, smug, this ho-hum, laconic response to people who say stuff like, they're erasing white men. <laughs> you know, this is anti-white, blah, blah, blah. They do this thing where it's like, oh, why are you making such a big deal of a nothing? And what's so infuriating about that is that the reason why we have all of this is because of them losing their shit over dumb things like fan service. Getting mad at gamers being excited about a character like E from Stellar Blade or Tifa in her bikini. These people lost their shit. And now we've got insane AI programs like Gemini ignoring history and reality in favor of nonsense and woke bullshit. And the thing is, some of the people defending it do this ho-hum, it's not a big deal thing. And other of them do this thing where it's like, well, it's just based on how it was coded. It's not really intentional. It's just grabbing from a whole host of images you know there's this guy he's quoted in this newsweek article about how google is trying to fix gemini addy robertson senior tech and policy editor at the verge said it is plausible that gemini has made an overall attempt to boost diversity because of a chronic lack of it in generative ai image generators are trained on large corpuses of pictures and written captions to produce the best fit for a given prompt which means they're often prone to amplifying stereotypes, he wrote. And even if that were true, and I know that there were people who used to say stuff like, straight white dudes in Silicon Valley are going to cause all kinds of problems for black people with their unintentional racist bias. If they do, you know, like some facial recognition program or something, that could somehow harm a black people or brown people in some way because of these inherent biases of these white uh, tech bros or whatever. So, okay, even seeing things from that perspective. It's one thing, though, if you're asking Gemini to show, hey, show me an image of a doctor. And then Gemini includes images of women doctors, black doctors, et cetera, et cetera. But they're not doing that, or they weren't doing that. They were literally excluding pictures of white doctors altogether, especially white male doctors. You know, there were people like on Reddit and, and YouTube saying stuff like they would ask for a picture of a white family or a Swedish family. And Jim and I would give this bullshit lecture about how families come in different shapes and sizes. Like, it's important to recognize this fact. And I'm not, basically, I'm not going to show you a picture of a white family, you know, because you're wrong and evil and hateful. But if you just said, hey, show me a picture of a black family, you wouldn't get the lecture. Jim and I would just show images of a black family. I've been saying this for a while now. I keep saying this. DEI isn't about adding more people to the table. You know, this woke stuff isn't about. I thought that was the point. When people were talking about this before, in the beginning, I thought the whole point was, you need to add more people to the table, more voices to the table. But it's not that at all. It's about turning the tables on white men exclusively. Forget all the black, brown, gay, lesbian, trans fans of like geek stuff in particular. You're collateral damage to them because all they care about is stopping white men. 
<laughs> it's one thing if these assholes were saying stuff like, you need to add more diverse heroes to comic books and video games or whatever. And even if you're saying these idiots don't know anything about the history of comics or games and how there's always been diverse heroes. There's been a lot of female leads, a lot of black characters. Like for one reason or another, they just never took off. A lot of them did. You don't know these hobbies, so you don't have any sense of it. You just know the most popular ones. So you've honed in on that and demonized all fans, especially white ones, and said that you've done something wrong and your hobby is wrong. But even in that situation, again, if you're just saying add more diversity, fine. But they're not saying that. They're saying get rid of the male icons. Turn Batman black. Turn Superman black. Turn Spider-Man black. Turn Robin gay. That's the stuff that they want and demand. Like I keep saying about Captain America. They don't want to add a cool black chick as like a sidekick or a partner to Captain America. They just want to turn Captain America into a fat black lesbian. Like that's what they want. That's what you're supposed to do. And then they have the nerve talking about, and it's all a part of like this AI thing, the way it sort of like casually and nonchalantly erases history and and does this weird thing where it's like, okay, Spider-Man has been around forever. Peter Parker, Spider-Man. 50 years later, they make a black version of him, a black Latinx version of Spider-Man, Miles Morales. And then after they do that, they act like that's the true Spider-Man. Now that he's black and Latinx, he's now the true Spider-Man. Spider-Man should have always been black. And if you say, actually, he's just a knockoff version of Peter Parker, they tell you, no, you're wrong. If if you think Peter Parker, even though he's been around 50, 60 years before Miles Morales, if you think he's the true Spider-Man, that you don't know anything about what it means to be a Spider-Man fan. <laughs> you know, because Spider-Man is suddenly a social construct. Anyone could identify as Spider-Man. And if you are black and Latinx or something, that makes you even more important and better than the patriarchal, racist, straight white male version. And going back to this, you know, Gemini AI or whatever from Google, I don't buy this bullshit about, oh, it's just incompetence or it's just the way that the coding is set up. This stuff is clearly deliberate. As far as I'm concerned, the reason why I say it's evil is because I see this as a tool to get people to fight over DEI while the powers that be get to exploit everyone and even trick a lot of us into protecting them. I don't care what political party you belong to. There is clearly a hierarchy in place that benefits from you fighting over things like the definition of a woman. It's like these DEI assholes, these activists are literally putting a target on the backs of marginalized voices or when they do this thing like they shamelessly and moronically put images of black people as Vikings and then they do it constantly over and over again. And since you have these cancel pigs who have pointed themselves as the voices of the voiceless, you get them saying things like that one person in the Asmongold clip who goes, only white men are getting triggered by this. It's like, no, are you saying that only white men care about history? Only white men would care about having their images erased while constantly being lectured on why diversity and inclusion is important? Are black people and Native Americans and Indians so stupid and shallow that they feel proud about appropriating another racist culture just to make themselves look good? Is cultural appropriation only a bad thing when white people do it? Anybody else gets to do it and it's fine? So this is never really a thing. It's just something that you complained about because you didn't like your political enemies being able to do it. <laughs> this isn't about defeating racism. This is racism. And I don't even mean racism or racist against white men. It's racist against black people and other marginalized groups because it's signalizing that these so-called marginalized people didn't actually accomplish anything worthwhile in history. You know, it reminds me of what Rippo said about turning established white male superheroes black or gay. Defending this means you only see value in these white, straight male characters. You don't think it's worthwhile investing in an already extensive catalog of diverse characters. No, that's not worth it. It's not black people, women, gay people. It's not important for them to have the same kind of investment in time put into their characters like the straight white male characters. They don't know what it means to put in work and put in effort and to have their own creativity celebrated. No, they have to steal somebody else's creativity, call it theirs, and then get mad if you complain about it. It's insulting and infantilizing and it's cynical to the extreme. But like I say, this is it. 
This is 1984. 